Welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here's your latest for Thursday, February 22nd, 2024. Span batches activate on the OP stack. Euler Finance releases its V2 white paper. Privy opens its authentication libraries for general availability. And Uniswap issues ENS subdomains. All this and more starts right after this message. This episode is sponsored by Harpy, an on-chain security solution for Ethereum-based wallets. Harpy helps you detect and prevent malicious transactions before they execute, safeguarding your assets from theft in real time. Secure your wallet for free at harpy.io forward slash ETH daily. The Optimism Delta network upgrade has successfully deployed to mainnet, introducing span batches for OP stack chains. Span batches reduce the fixed on-chain costs of operating an OP stack chain by encoding consecutive layer 2 blocks into a single batch, reducing the number of blocks posted to layer 1 Ethereum. The new feature yields significant cost reductions, especially for new or less active OP stack chains such as Moat, which anticipates its fixed monthly overhead expenses to reduce from $200,000 a month to under $1,000, marking a cost reduction of over 90%. Optimism will also be EAP4844 ready once the Denkun upgrade goes live on Ethereum mainnet. Euler Finance unveiled its white paper for Euler V2, the second iteration of its lending protocol. Euler V2 introduces a modular framework that supports the creation of customizable ERC-4626 compatible vaults. It features vaults designed for governed lending, ungoverned modular vaults, and escrow vaults for collateral without yield. The core components of Euler V2 include Euler Vault Kit, which facilitates the development and linking of various lending vaults and the Ethereum vault connector, which enables vaults to interconnect and serve as collateral for one another. The release follows the pause of Euler v1 amid a $200 million flash loan attack last year from which the majority of funds were recovered. Authentication development tool provider Privy officially launched its services for general availability. Now anyone can use Privy's wallet connectors into their mobile applications to integrate secure authentication and embedded wallets. The launch includes Privy's progressive authentication library, embedded wallet library, and web and mobile clients. Privy allows end users to sign up for wallets using Web2 options such as SMS, email, and social logins. It also supports Web3 social logins through platforms like Lens and Farcaster. Previous libraries have already been adopted by Frentech, OpenSea, and Zora to streamline wallet onboarded. And lastly, Uniswap released free ENS subdomains, allowing users to turn their hexadecimal Ethereum addresses into a human readable address. Users can claim their personalized uni.eth subdomain via the Uniswap mobile app on iOS and Android. Users can modify their ENS records to include an avatar, biography, and social media links directly from the Uniswap app. Claiming a subdomain is also gasless. Uniswap is the largest DEX by TVL with over $4.5 billion in total value locked. In other news, Ethereum clients have released Denkun ready versions of their clients. Node operators are required to update their client versions ahead of the Denkun upgrade scheduled for March 13th. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing on CastBox and following us on X at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ETHDaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.